Hey guys, it's Vash. Welcome back to RE7. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this we're gonna wrap this bad boy up and put a bow on it, and then we're gonna play some DLC if you guys are down. Let me know if you guys if you guys are down to see that we can play the the band footage arena again. Uh, what are we doing? Do we have enough coins? We got one. Oh yeah, we do. Hell oh, yeah, dude! I want that magnum. I know it's doo doo, but I want it. I'm already stacked with all kinds of other shit, but you know what I'm not stacked with? A magnum. How are you guys doing? I have been feeling bad this weekend. I haven't been feeling good at all. I don't know, I've just been just kind of sick lately. The heat doesn't help. It actually makes it worse. I have my fan on me, so I hope uh, it, my microphone isn't all distorted or it's bothering anybody. Because if it is, too bad. Because it's too hot. Now we got this bad boy with one bullet in it. They gave us one bullet so we can test it. Let's see. What do we have? I don't think we need the pistol anymore, honestly, because we have a shotgun with so many bullets. Oh, no. Not this shotgun. We're doing that one. Right? Yeah. We got strong chems. Oh, yeah. Roids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're feeling spicy. We can bring that machine gun, too. Do we need it? We don't. But do I want it? Yes. Garnade launcher. Let's drop a couple of garnades. By couple, I mean... I mean one. <laughs> that sucks. We only have one. Do we really only have one? How do you make grenade launcher? I mean, grenade bullets again. Isn't like chem and like flame fluid? Because we do have a lot of that. I think it's solid fuel and and uh, flame stuff. Let me see. How do we make grenades? It is solid fuel and strong chems. Okay. Uh, we pulled out. Do we pull out the solid fuel? No. We are now. And strong chems. Okay. I'm making them. I'm making them. We're going all out, dude. We're stacked, homie. Hell yeah. Do we even need the machine gun? We don't. But the real question is, do I want the machine gun? And that is a yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. But we need something to break boxes because I'm not bringing a... Uh, can't break our boxes with the grenade launcher. I'll, I'll bring the machine gun. We have bullets. Handgun, machine gun, yeah, quite a bit. Look at that, nice and stacked, baby. What is this? Oh, that's Magnum. We have pistol ammo on us? Yeah, we do. I don't need this. Put this back in the box. Okay. What have I been doing lately? Uh, I opened up a box and cut my hand up pretty bad. I got mad paper cuts from a box. From a goddamn box. Um, so I have band-aids all over my fingers. I feel like Michael Jackson. Terrible. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. But uh, that's what I've been doing. <clears throat> I've been playing ukulele a bit. But it's been a couple of days. What have I been what have I been playing? I don't know. I've been resting. I've been uh trying to catch up on some sleep. I know Saturday night. Oh boy. I know Saturday night I had like some of the best sleep I've ever had like in years. Oh man, I fell asleep and I woke up feeling so good. Like, ooh, I I didn't realize until Saturday night that a good night's sleep is so important. Like, god damn, dude. I like woke up feeling like a whole ass other person because I actually like got some sleep. It was crazy. Oh, now I remember. Uh, last Thursday, I watched a really interesting video on Twisted Metal, and I've actually only played Twisted Metal Black, and um, the video got me really into, like, the lore of, like, all the characters and stuff, so I wanted to play the other Twisted Metal, so I, I beat the first one, and I played a bit of the second game. Um, those games are hard as hell. Like, no joke. Can you imagine what it smells like? The boat? Oh, no, wait, we're going the wrong way. Shit. 
<laughs> I just realized, I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute. I remember the fish. And we ain't going to no boat. My bad, I went the wrong way. Oops. So about that twisted metal, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I played the first one. It was, it's, those games are hard. I had to put it on easy, and it was still hard. It's definitely a difficult game. Um, you're probably like, oh, what makes it so difficult? It's the fact that it's supposed to be like a free-for-all, everyone for their self car battle game, which is a fucking lie, because the enemies fight each other, or they make it look like they are, and then you come around, and they're all like, hey, you want to kill that guy? All right, and then everybody just gang bangs you, and you just die. It's that's what makes it so hard is that you have to like only fight people one on one, and even when you do that, let me fix my mic. It's a little, a little chunky. Even when you do that, it's it's ridiculous. Sorry, I'm, I'm adjusting my microphone. It's out of place. Yeah, man. Even when you do that, like you got to kind of lure them away and fight them one on one. Or uh, you'll get your cheeks clapped pretty bad. Like, really bad, actually. Hi, sir. Bop. Light him up. Take out all your anger. Bro, I'm like a walking army man. I'm super Ethan. Oh, and I want to bust this one's melon. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I may be a one-man army, but I... You know... Aim's still shit. That was a test shot. You remember? It was the free shot they gave us. Don't don't be a baby. Oh my god, that's the wrong gun. I thought I had the shotgun on me. He tried to hit me with the arm he didn't have. He's fucking up like I do. He's like me. <laughs> oh, shit. Dog, he was like, wait a minute. That's the wrong arm. Oh, man. <clears throat> Herb? I don't know. We already stacked on herbs, right? Uh, uh. More red chems. So, yeah. I was playing Tissel. I, I played, uh. I don't remember. I don't think I played anything Saturday night. I don't remember. I played ukulele Saturday night. And then Sunday, I played, uh. Twisted Metal. And then Monday. I don't remember. I don't think I played anything because I was, I was not feeling good. I was just chilling. I was vibing, bro. It is hot as hell. I got some cold water. Don't mind all the clinging and clinging of my... Of my... What is it called? Thermos or some shit? Don't mind that. Oh, it's you. Bitch. Hate those guys. Those guys are annoying. This is why we have the machine gun. Can you imagine trying to do this with a shotgun? I have to sneeze so bad. Uh oh. Ah, excuse me. I had to do two. My bad. I had two back to back. Back to back big sneezes. It's all these green herbs. I have no space for this shit. I'm stacked, my guy. Pistol ammo? Yeah. Yuck. Oh shit. Almost walked into that one. Oh my god. He tried. Oh, my, dude, why do I keep missing? <laughs> I ain't so bad. There we go. God, I just wanted to kill what? Stop it. I just wanted to kill what? God damn, my aim is so bad. Shit. Should have left all those traps for them. They would have just blew themselves up. But now I had to show them who's, who's boss with my dog shit aim. Nah, no, I don't want to go that way yet. Because I think once we jump down there, I don't think we can climb back up. 
I want to go look around. We came in this way, right? Oh, no. We didn't. Did we? Wait, what is this? Is this the elevator? No, this ain't an elevator. Is it? No, this is a transformer box. We did come from that way. Okay, what the hell? What kind of drugs am I on? The good shit? Getting thrown around and bamboozled? Ah, nice cup of joe. Have you guys ever tried making your own homemade, like, uh, Ooh, Magnum ammo. Can't pick it up. What do we have? You know what we do have? Shit. Damn, what, do we, what can we do with this? Oh, we can take these steroids. Ooh, baby! That's the good shit. Okay. I th are we using up double space for the machine? No. One bullet for the Magnum, huh? Okay. I want to use one. And then we'll clear up the spot. Take that, bitch. Oh, what? He survived? Wow. 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 Love it. Survived that one. Bitch. Alright. Yeah, I heard him coming. I was like, which way, though? Because they... That's... Ooh, shit. Because that's how they get you. You just don't know. I like how they, they roll in their back like toddlers. You never know. Oh, I don't know why I'm using up this, this magnum. I forgot that we got to fight a, one of the bloaters. What the fuck am I doing? Playing like shit. Oh, whatever. It's the last piece. Go all out. That's what I say. What else I got going on? Living? What y'all been playing? I'm excited. This month's got some cool shit coming out. I'm hyped for... What is it called? Oh, shit, what is it called? Two Point Campus? Or I think it's called. That, that was supposed to come out in May. That got pushed back. I'm hyped for that. I'm hyped for Hard West 2. You guys have played Hard West? I think it's on Steam right now for like $2. It's kind of like, imagine like, I guess the best, yeah, my microphone not being in the right spot is just bothering me. Imagine, uh, like XCOM gameplay. So like, you know, strategy stuff. XCOM gameplay with like a little bit of like darkest dungeon RNG in it. Cause like when you're traveling around and doing stuff, sometimes like random shit happens. And like, it, you know what I mean. If you play Darkest Dungeon, you know what I mean. It's like nine times out of 10, it's something awful. <laughs> the RNG happens, it's just bad. So let's make another heavy kin. And that clears up two spots. Uh, 2015, thanks to the guys. going to take a week as my head's been clear and normal. Still thinks not me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's as stupid as one, too. It's fucked up. Mom and dad are still totally under, though. I was, I was wondering if this whole family obsession thing uh, you guys programmed into, it's kind of kind of fucked up. That bitch Mia is still nowhere to between Evie La La Land and reality. So who we choking for calling Ethan's woman a bitch? Because he ain't lying, but we remember we're playing a role of Ethan. We're supposed to care and be mad about stuff like that. Not me personally. I don't like it. But you get you get it, right? You get my point? I think that was Lucas's shit, wasn't it? That's awful. Five minutes after dose, he just starts getting cheesy. E -ne necrotoxin, E series dosage test. Why is it always in like a cave and like the nastiest fucking shit? Like, oh, we have all this super technology and everything's all like tech, tech, techy tech. So we're gonna fucking Iron Man in, build us a suit in the in the cave. You know what I mean? Fuck it. E necrotoxin. 
Nice. That sounds delicious. Let's see, research report, yeah, nice. I remember there being like bullets or something somewhere around here. Does this confidential report tell me where the bullets are at so I could continue f fucking up everything? <laughs> oh man, where are the bullets? Come on, come on. Oh shit. Flame rounds? Hell yeah. What can we drop? The bombs, we don't need them. I mean, we could. Nah. Uh, I'm gonna do a new save because low key, even though I tested the recording earlier today, I just have a feeling today's gonna be one of those days where it records the wrong screen. You guys have no idea how many times that happens. Where I'll start a recording and I'm like, all right, hey guys, welcome back to wherever the fuck I'm playing. And then it's like, uh, too bad, because the game ended up recording my second screen. And not the game. That happens a lot. That happened during the village playthrough, actually. It sucks. And then I have to make the decision. I'm like, well, it's supposed to be a first-time playthrough. Do I just pretend like I don't know what I'm doing? Enhance handgun? Nah. Or do I tell people that I played it and it didn't record right? Well, I don't know if that happened. I know that happened during um, Mercenaries in, in Resident Evil Village, but I can't remember if it actually happened during Village. I think it happened just during the uh, Mercenaries. Bombs, chem fluids. Let's see, there's just, yeah. God damn it. Fuck it. I'm gonna use it. How you equip this shit again? Dude, why I pick this shit up? Discard it. Fuck it. I don't care. Any chem fluid? We could. My hands are full of all these guns I'm using. I'm stacked, my guy. Hello? I'm not down with this freaky deaky shit. Oh, it's getting louder. You guys ever heard of Metamucil? It's the shit. Oh my god. You need to stop! Die. Oh no. We gotta go. Oh shit. Fuck that, dude. Oh, and they, if they catch up, they're gonna come behind us. And that's gonna really be bad. Move, bitch! Get out the way! If they catch up behind us, we're dead. Like D-E-D -E -D dead. <laughs> Stop giggling at me. Goodbye. Ooh, hell yeah, that was a clean one. Nice and clean, baby. Nice and Mr. Clean. Shotgun shells. Nice. Machine gun ammo. Machine gun ammo. Oh my god. Nice. This is where it all goes to shit, boys. I'm calling it now. <laughs> oh fuck! He didn't die! Oh yeah, he died. Never mind, false alarm. I was prematurely popping off. Oh fuck, dude. Clean, nice and clean. Ooh, my shit's on point tonight. I remember my Madhouse playthrough. I'm gonna tell you right now, and I'm gonna pause it so I can tell you, because I have to stretch, because my back is hurting. But this part, when we did Madhouse all those years ago, was the hardest part of the fucking game, dude. This shit was so hard, because if you didn't one-shot those, those, in, those uh, infected, you were fucked. You lost, you lose. GG. Come on, Big Papa. Boop. Oh, wow. Oh, there's two. That sucks. I fucked up my reload, too. Nice. I think we might be dead. 
Yeah. I was trying to heal, but I was I was guarding too much. I was trying to do the heal cancel, but I pressed it too early. You have to wait till the juices pour at least a little bit before you can, uh... You have to wait for the juices to pour. What's over here? Shock and shells? Fuck it. I'm so disappointed with how shit these, these grenade launcher rounds are. Oh, wow. Did it kill him? Nah, he's getting back up. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Is he dead? He's dead. He just ate that shit like it was... Ow. Ooh, didn't fuck up my reload. Are you dead? Dead now. <laughs> Yo, his head fucking popped like a grape. Burner fuel? What the fuck am I gonna do with burner fuel? What do I look like? A bitch? The funny thing is, I was thinking, I'm like, man, watch me carrying this machine gun is like, I don't even know if this is true. This is just me thinking that. I'm like, since I'm holding the machine gun, the game is gonna randomize what bullets I get depending on what guns I have. And since the machine gun requires a lot of ammo because you spray and pray i'm like the game is just going to give me a buttload of machine gun ammo so i was thinking in the back of my head i'm like should i leave it so that i can actually get like magnum ammo or shotgun ammo and what do you know fucking burner fluid nice that's what i needed for the burner in my ass Yeah, look at that. Ooh, medicine. The mine map. They gave us the map? When did I play this game on easy? Hmm, 2017. Uh, yeah, I believe this is the new save, right? Yeah. It's actually quite a, okay, never mind. Kick that shit in, Kia! Come on, Ethan, you, you, oh, dog, Ethan, you had like, the, the door was weak, so you couldn't have looked bad if you did it wrong. Just fucking kung fu that shit in. Like, wah! Sure Ooh, fuck. Now we get to see it happen. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, I want to see her get snatched. I want to see if that's actually what happened, unless she kidnapped herself. EEO1. Oh, you get it? The reveal? She was the grandma the whole time. How could she? I liked her too. She was just a sweet old lady. Banana phone? Hmm. Ooh. Hulk smash that ass. Evie, I will I s I will pop you. This is your fault. Is it? Why am I seeing this? It's the cocaine. She slipped it. Ethan, Ooh fuck. It's okay. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. But you shouldn't have done that! It fucking hurts! He doesn't want to be my daddy? Then he can die. You ever heard of personal space child? Now it's mommy's turn to kill you! My god damn. I think we go out the front door, don't we? Oh, wait, I can't remember. Do we go upstairs or the front door? Let's see. Let's go to the door. <laughs> You're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! You're like, not fair. Oh my god. That's not real, is it? 
Can that kill me? What the fuck are you doing here? You big bitch. That's not real, right? It's in my head. You know? A Goosebumps book. Door's locked. Let me check my wallet. I can't. Is that green or yellow? Can you guys see what that? What color is that? Can you guys see that? I'm legally blind. I'm my the, the it's so desaturated. I can't see. Nice. Can you give me satisfaction, huh? Oh yeah, I should reload that. Cause that takes forever in a year. Hello? Hello? What is happening? Is she? <laughs> what the fuck? I just okay. <laughs> I just missed all of that. All those jump scares. I just couldn't see. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot you're supposed to block that. My bad. Come here, bitch. Come here, I'm coming. Just you wait, I'm coming. Oh shit, she's lowering my health. I got your little ass. Come here, little fucker. Take your medicine. Mountain Dew flavor. Shit! I don't remember all this. That don't look good. All right, game time. Use up all my ammo on it. Oh, fuck. Oh, am I dead? Oh, she's jacking me up, dude. Bro, she's jacking me up. Game over? I'm arrived? Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I had the fucking reload, dude. Ugh, ugh. Ow, oh, shit! Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have to pull out the gat. I warned you. Ow! That's it. Unload on that ass. Ah, shit. I guess you're not intimidated. <laughs> what? Stop slapping me. God damn. Is this working? Oh, okay, okay. God damn, dude. Okay, unknown man voice in my watch. How big are the bullets for this thing? And is that a silencer? It looks like it. Clack! Clack! It's game time! Hell yeah! Okay. I survived. Woo! I don't think he can walk. 
He's just stunned. We still have not a hero to play. I completely forgot about that. Because that wraps up the whole the whole thing. Yeah, we're gonna play the DLC. I was thinking about it. I'm like, eh, I kinda wanna play the Joe Baker one. <laughs> oh yeah, you survived. Great. Mia. Thanks, Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Totally. Totally Did glad. I? Great. Love it. Absolutely love it. Because we still have the band they footage. Stuff. One door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. And now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. And you end up regretting it. Maybe this is where the next door opens. You're supposed to start clapping. You're like, woo, woo, woo. Wasn't this like the first? I'm probably going to have to mute the ending of this video because the Don't Tell Aunt Rody song gets the shit copyrighted out of it. Um, Isn't this like the first numbered Resident Evil game that doesn't end with a like with a countdown in a rocket launcher? Because one, you had a countdown in a rocket launcher. Two, you had a countdown in a rocket launcher. Three, you didn't have a rocket. But you did have a timer. Did you? I don't think you had a rocket, right? I can't remember. I know in 3, you used the... No, you didn't have a rocket. You used the, like, plasma shit. So blast them up, and then you... I'll give you stars. And then you do that part. Um, 4, you had a... It ended with a rocket with a timer. And 5 had a rocket and a timer, too. And 6... Don't worry. The funny thing is, I played six a lot, and I don't remember. That's because there's four different stories. I have to Google it. Maybe six was the first one. I don't know. Not the holy bibble. But yeah, this game was cool. I mean, we, we have, I guess we have some time to talk about and reflect about it. Is, it. is it nice to complete again in the year of our Lord 2022? Yeah. Resident Evil 7 was a pretty solid game. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, people might not agree with me, but I don't really care. But I think the game kind of falls a little bit after the boat. Because um, it just kind of wraps up really quick, you know? Like, I kind of felt like they ran out of time. Kind of just threw it all together at the last minute. But, like, the dude. It's just everything up to the boat is like. Mm, chef's kiss. Mm, it's so good. You're running around this house. Everything's, like, slow and, and spooky. And the lighting was really good. And. And shit. I think it's, it's pretty solid in the beginning. 
And I mean, I'm not saying the boat makes it unplayable. I always, I, I sometimes over exaggerate with that. Like the boat is fine. I just, I just don't like it. But it's, it's, it's fine. It's just from the point on. It's, it like kind of takes a little bit of a. It dives down a little bit, but overall, I really like Resident Evil Seven. I really do. I enjoy it quite a bit. I remember when it was first announced and I was pretty hyped and then I saw it was in first person and I lost all kind of like just excitement for it because I just don't like first person games that much. I don't find them very fun. Um, I don't enjoy them. Oh, well, usually. Like I do play shooters, but my shooters, I like my shooters to be nice and mindless. Uh, like Call of Duty and shit like that. Like I don't like, I, you know. Especially with the whole trend with like first person horror games, which is another thing <laughs> that I talk about a bit. Um, sometimes I don't really like first person horror games either. There are some that every once in a while come out that I enjoy, but it's, it's very rare because they usually kind of follow a formula. And I was like, fuck, Resident Evil is just following the same formula. That's what I thought at first when I saw it. It wasn't until like the day before the game came out that a big chunk of gameplay got out. Because since then, I, I don't think we really saw much. Like, we saw, like, you know, gameplay in the trailers. But it was very limited um, for the trailers. So I was like, I want to see how this is actually going to play. And then I remember, I think I saw, like, I think they uploaded the first, like, 15 minutes of the game. Um, up to, not the, first team, not the first 15 minutes. It was gameplay, I believe, after the dinner scene with the bakers. When you're running from... Uh, Jack in the beginning uh, and I and it, I was like this looks like a lot of fun like I, I don't like running from things in my video games I don't find that scary or fun at all because usually 90% of the time especially in modern gaming when you get caught and killed the checkpoints like two minutes away like you know like before it was scary because you know, you die, you gotta go back to your save, which could have been 20, 30, 40, 50, an hour ago. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what scared me more than actually getting chased, is just of all the time I lose of having to do all this shit again. Um, but with, like, the way modern gaming is with checkpoints and lots of saves, it kind of, it, it lost its fear factor for me. I'm sure a lot of other people are feel differently, and I'm not saying you're wrong, but, uh, that's just for me. That's why I don't really dig those, those kind of things. I like, to me... What scares me when something is chasing me is knowing that I can defend myself, but I can't stop it. That is what's scary to me. Making the decision to use my very limited resources to get you off my ass is a lot scarier to me. Like, when you're playing RE2, you have to make a decision. Are you going to shoot Mr. X and waste a little bit of bullets you have? Or are you going to try to dodge him or get around him and then get into the next room that has two liquors in it? You get what I mean? It's like you have to, those, that, that, that decision making is why I like being able to defend myself when I'm being chased by something. Even if I know I can't kill it. Even if I know that I can't defeat it. As long as I know that I can damage it or put it down to give me breathing room, then that's when you make the decision, is it worth getting it off you? You know, because like I might need that ammo later for something that, you know, in the next room or some shit. That's what stresses me out and scares me, quote unquote, in those in like these kinds of games. But if I don't have a choice, I don't have a choice. So the only choice you have is run, and that doesn't work for me, to be honest. So that's just my opinion on the whole thing. I'm sure other people will feel different, but I mean, everyone enjoys their own thing. It's fine, but. RE7 was very surprising. I actually quite enjoyed it a bit. I think on the PC version, uh, I think when I originally played this, I played this on PS4. And then I bought it on PC, and I think I have like 70 hours in this game because I beat it so many times because I just enjoyed it so much. I, I quite enjoyed Resident Evil 7 quite a bit. Especially after 6, I think 7 was a really nice step in know in the right direction in my opinion now village is a different story i personally didn't really like village all that much i thought it was okay it was just okay it was definitely one of those games where i was like well that was a game you know like, not a game that i would i probably would never play village for fun 
on my own. Uh, maybe uh, Casey Edwards. Maybe um, uh, Mercenaries. I might play Mercenaries for fun. I like Mercenaries. I thought it was really cool. Especially with all the new stuff that they're adding uh, in October. With like the new characters and modes and maps and all that. Especially with the third person stuff. I'm willing I'm willing to see how village how village goes with third person. Because I do know that you know, it being in first person, you being Ethan again was definitely a couple of minus points off of it in my on my chart of being a bitch. You get what I mean, right? Right. I was drinking water, sorry. But yeah. I'm excited to give it another run through on uh, third person, which we will be doing when it comes out. We will be playing through Village again um, in third person to see how they do it, because I'm interested to see how it works. I wonder if that ends up doing well enough that they go back and put third person in this game. It'd probably be, st I don't know, would it be worth it? I think it, I think it would be worth it. But would it be worth it for them? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I guess. I guess people that have problems with first person about, like, my petty reasons why I don't like first person, but there's some people that don't do well with, like, uh, like motion sickness and stuff. I think it would be nice for people to be able to enjoy 7. Uh, if they couldn't in the past. They can get the whole story. Yeah, now that I think about it, what about people that have really bad motion sickness? They're going to play Village and they're going to miss out on 7. I guess they can play it on PC and mod it, but it's janky. It looks like... It looks kind of weird when you play it in third person. This game in third person is kind of weird looking. It's kind of, it's funny though. But, how long are these damn, these, these, how long is this shit? Can I skip it? Oh, we can skip it. Okay, well, I usually like the credits to run through, but we've played this game before and we've sat through the credits multiple times in the past. So I don't think we have to do it again. We know what's what's popping off. Uh, it is 9.11 p.m. Uh, I'm going to go take a shower and have this ready for you guys to do tomorrow. Oh, my God. We skipped it. It's still going. Do you, for real? Yes. Restarts. Does that mean how many times I died? I died seven times? Mr. Everywhere is destroyed. Look at that. You like that? Huh? You like that? You like that? Huh? You like that? Nice. I'll, I'll raise the stakes. We got walking shoes. It makes you move faster. And then essence of defense. That's some new item stuff. Okay. So when we get back, I believe the extra content is the DLC, right? Yeah. We're going to do the band footage stuff. We're going to start off with not a hero. Um, Is this just the title? What is this thing? Maybe it was something to try to start by the beggar's prisoners. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. There are, like, little... I forgot there's the one where you can, like, escape from the room with Marguerite. I completely forgot that was a thing. Huh. We're gonna start off with Not a Hero, though, because this wraps up Resident Evil 7. Uh, because if you didn't notice, if you've never seen or played Resident Evil 7 and you're new around here, Lucas got away. And this wraps up what happens with Lucas. So we're definitely gonna be playing this next. This will be our next video. Hopefully, I'm feeling good. I Like, like I mentioned before, I've been having some stomach issues that I conquer by laying down <laughs> and drinking tea. And sometimes I just don't feel good. People keep telling me they liked when I did Ethan Must Die. I did not like Ethan Must Die, which is why I stopped playing it. I know you guys probably want to see it. I might be willing to give it another shot, just like one or two times or whatever, but I this mode pissed me off. So and I don't I don't play games that make me angry anymore. I have enough gray hair, which is none, and I'd like to keep it that way. So I just didn't like this mode. It just made me angry. But we got Not a Hero. We're going to play that next. Ethan's struggle is over, but there's still one last mess to clean up, and the job falls on Briss Breadfield, a veteran in a fight against bioterrorism. We got that. End of Zoe, which is a very fun DLC. Jack's 55th birthday I thought was a lot of fun too, but it's very arcadey. It doesn't really have a story. It's just fun. Um, so we, I don't think we're going to play that one. Um, and then this bullshit. But there's also the four stories in band footage. There's... Let me see this. Oops. Uh oh. I don't give you a choice. It's four stories, right? Because I know it's the like the mercenaries mode, sort of. 
Then there's the Daughters DLC. And then there's 21. Right? Yeah, dude, it is 14. What the fuck? Yeah, so Nightmare is kind of like... It says, survive until morning using guns, traps, and skills. It's it's a, it's a like a wave-based survival. Um, it's pretty fun. I think Nightmare is pretty fun. I know I used to get cheesed by Jack Baker. Like, towards the end, he shows up and he can one-shot you and it's balls. Uh, bedroom is pretty cool. Like, you have to escape uh, from uh, one of the bedrooms with Marguerite watching you. 21 is pretty cool. You have to play 21 or you die. And then Daughters is a bit of backstory on Evelyn and Mia, which is pretty cool. Uh, Daughters is pretty cool. I like it. There's multiple endings to this one. It's pretty nice to see uh, the Bakers before they got all fucked up. So we will tackle we will tackle that um, after we do Not a Hero because we have to wrap up actual Resident Evil 7 and then we'll do the band footage. Okay. All right. So that's cool. I'm going to go take a shower uh, and eat dinner and upload this for you guys tomorrow and uh oh, hopefully if i'm feeling all right in the next couple days i'll probably record not a hero on either thursday or friday probably thursday because usually thursdays are really nice and i'm in like a super good mood by the end of that day and i'm like let's do some youtube videos usually um, that's why like you guys usually get videos on fridays because i i have really good days on thursdays and i'm in a and then i record so yeah Thank you guys for chilling. I appreciate all of you. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, a great day, a beautiful afternoon, an awesome night. I'm going to go sweat uh, out of the room because it's hot as fuck up in here. I'm going to go take me a shower. Love you guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye.